Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be pressing one of Vapor Apparel's baby onesies. These come in several different sizes. We have a 3 month, 6 month, 12, 18, and 24 month size. So there's a large variety in our sizes that we offer. And personalized baby items are a very hot ticket item right now. And they're very easy to do. So we'll show you how to do that. Today we're going to be pressing a 24 month size onesie. We're going to personalize it with a George onesie. Be very cute. The other items we're going to need today, I had taken an extra piece of protective paper and I folded it. We're going to use this as an insert. I'll show you exactly how we're going to do that when we move to our press. Some Condu Dye Transpro Spray, a sticky lint roller, and protective paper. Now with the onesie, you can do both sides. And what we recommend you do is take a sheet of protective paper and actually put it in between each side. This is going to prevent any kind of bleeding from one side to the other when you do your press. Also, the different size onesies will require different paper, so it's easier just to use something that we can discard once we're done using. Make sure we can go all the way to the crease. This is just going to make sure that we only press one side at a time. Once we have our insert in place, we're going to move to our press. We're going to do a pre-press. So I'll open my press, put a sheet of protective paper on the bottom. And depending on the size of the onesie you use and the equipment, you want to be sure to pay close attention to your instructions. We're going to pre-press for about five to ten seconds. Place my onesie on the bottom. Grab my sticky lint roller. Make sure that we remove any excess lint that could distort our image. And with the snaps, I'm going to actually put those just over the edge of my press so that the heat will not come into contact with the metal. Add a final sheet of protective paper on top, and we're ready to pre-press for about 5 to 10 seconds. This is going to remove any excess moisture in the shirt, and it's also going to make sure that we get a nice, crisp, clear image. Once our pre-press is up, we can move back to the table. So I'll grab my onesie, move it over. From my lint roller, just one more time, make sure that I get every little piece. You can see just how nice and flat our onesie is. It's going to make it very easy to see how our transfer is going to be applied. Go ahead and we're going to lightly mist our transfer before we apply our image on our onesie. And then the next step is going to be aligning our transfer on our onesie. Once we have our transfer in place, we're ready to move back to our press. Since I have my protective sheet of paper on the bottom, I can go ahead and just place it directly on top of my heat press. Grab our sheet of protective paper, place it on top. And we're going to press for 55 to 60 seconds. Again, pay attention to the size of the onesie you're using and your equipment, and always refer to your instructions. And that sound means we're done, so we're going to lift and swing away on our press. Go ahead and remove our transfer right away, and we'll give it enough time to cool. Oh, that looks great. It's going to be very, very cute. We just finished the onesie, and you can see just how well it turned out. This is just one side. You can get really creative. You can do both sides. Personalized onesies, again, you can do a I Heart My Aunt Rita. Those are very popular with all of the different aunts, uncles, and family members. They love the personalized t-shirts. For more tips, products, and services, be sure to check out our website at condi.com and watch more of my videos at condi.tv.com. I'm Brittany with Systems, and thank you for joining us.